Um, you know, the reality is like Suri is excellent. It took five seconds of talking to her to realize why she's done so well in these shows. Um, she was not in a powerful position in this house post the Izzy vote. So she was in no way a threat to my game. There was no reason to target her. And working closely with her just doesn't have the benefits you would really expect because in Big Brother competitions, at least in the modern era, competitions are king and Suri has yet to, you know, do well in competition. So, you know, the uh, me being close to Suri might have gotten one more vote on my side, but ultimately this week it would not have mattered. And if I were to stay somehow this week, if I didn't get back to her, Suri would have been an extremely important piece that I think I've been getting close closer to. So it was certainly something in the back of my mind. It just didn't really pan out in this game with the way the competitions worked out this season. Um, but yeah, she, she would have been a great ally. No. Again, I have no idea how this all was portrayed, but I was horribly paranoid every day <laughs> about this week. Um, the reality was I've been called out in, you know, at least two ceremonies in the past couple of weeks. Uh, I know the target that's on my back when Jag and Matt have to choose between getting rid of Felicia or getting rid of me it's always going to be more tempting to get rid of me. So until the nominations are locked, the veto meeting is over. I always assume me being backdoored is in play. The vibes were super off this week as well. Um, once I heard America had these conversations with Blue, I was really nervous that these were getting back to Matt and Jag. And if they were getting back to them, I thought there was a great chance I could be backdoored. Um, the day it was happening, I was probably 70, 30 thinking it was it was going to happen. Um, so I was definitely not overconfident. I think, if anything, I was optimistic and just hopeful that it would work out. Um, but yeah, obviously that, that was not the case. The move I probably regret, I don't think there was much of a reason to get rid of Mimi over Felicia. Uh, at the time, you know, Felicia just yelled at me during the veto meeting and I thought, well, first of all, it doesn't really matter who I keep. Neither of them are super loyal to me. Felicia, keeping Felicia is kind of funny because she just yelled at me and also she's less likely to win competitions. And the truth is I felt uncomfortable with either of them being HOH, but Mimi probably would have been like someone I could actually have used as an ally. And she would have been more of a threat for Matt and Jack to try to take out, whereas they can just leave Felicia in the house as long as they want before they get rid of her. Um, so I think that that could be a mistake, but who knows exactly how it plays out if Mimi's still here. The truth is, it was a weird way the season worked out where so many of the quote-unquote bigger threats went out pretty early. Like, even people like Izzy, big personality, big strategist, went out pretty early. Same with Jared. Cam went right before me. Then you even had people like Riley and Heisem leave early. So, like, you look at the house guests left. You look at me. I shouldn't be a big threat. But it's me who's being called out in meetings. It's me who's having, you know, a couple of big arguments. Um, I win the double eviction HOH. And then you mix that all in with just the way that I kind of look, I'm like kind of the rat strategist. Um, I think it all combined to make me a pretty big target, at least with this collection of house guests remaining. That's a move I'll never regret because I had such a great time doing it. And I think it was really important for how the season played out. In terms of my long-term security in the game, it was almost objectively bad. Um, but I know with the way that the game shook out, there's a ton of worlds where I make a really deep run and I have a good shot of winning. So it's hard to regret it because who knows what happens if Izzy stays. The reality of why I made that move was you look at who was left in the house if I just wrote it out with Izzy, Jared, and Suri. You'd have Izzy, Jared, Suri. They're trying to get rid of Jag, America, and Cameron. And that would leave me with like those three, Mimi, Felicia, Bowie, who I didn't have a relationship with yet. Um, it would have been a lot of people in the house who I had a worse relationship with than Jared and Izzy and Suri. And I would just be hoping that these people would carry me through the game. Whereas I pivot, get rid of Izzy, and then I'm kind of in a more active spot where I can make decisions because I have a little bit more influence over America and Matt and Jag and and these people. So, you know, I think I basically had two paths. I had, I can kind of securely get to seventh or eighth place and then hope to figure it out from there. Or I can get a little bit more agency, take matters into my own hands and try to get as far as I can. And I ended up at eighth anyways. Um, but I don't regret that at all, but certainly like blew up my target level for sure.
also there's obviously a gender uh, nature to this where, you know, America and I played a very similar game. I won one extra competition, but I think I'm perceived as more of a threat than, than she is. Cause you know, I'm the 22 year old nerdy skinny dude. Um, so that's obviously something that's out of my control, but it would have benefited me if I got further in the game and needed jury votes. 